Oh well, um, I'd like to talk about something very important to most of us. Well, say you have a computer that crashes on you, like I do. Uh, yeah, my laptop, um, uh, just bricked. It's pretty much a lemon, so. Well, normally, my laptop's my spare computer. Ah, uh, who cares about it? Well, it just so happens that I have a project I've been working on for one of my classes. And on top of that, it's one of the classes I need to graduate. So, yeah. Um, dang, it's dark in here. That's better. Sort of. Okay, anyways. Um, so, yes. What do I do? Rewrite the entire thing? Cry? No! Just so happens that I have this little device here. It's, um... USB hard drive adapter. Works with um, standard uh, yeah, standard PATA laptop uh, yeah, laptop for PATA and then SATA which is the same format for laptops and PCs, uh, desktops. Yeah. Uh, it's easy enough to work with. Uh, let's see, this is the small side, so yeah just with it just shove that in there like that for the old laptop same thing with the um, desktop hard drives <coughs> and yeah SATA again nice and easy to just slip it in there it's the L shape so you can only put it in one way now with um, SATA and the <coughs> SATA and the old PATA, you also need power. So this one came with a power cord with a uh, SATA adapter over here. Again, it's got the L shape in it. And then the PATA, which is the four, four ports there. So just plug this in. it in upside down. <laughs> uh, that was dumb. Okay, now um, the other side, you just plug into a... The other side of this, you just plug into a USB drive. Um, and then there's a switch on the power cord. And... There it is. Hard drive installed. So now all the information on here is now on my desktop and I can transfer it over, print it out, everything that I could normally do. Just so there you go. Oh, and also um if you're this is a lot slower than even PADA, but if you have a lot of important documents that you need to transfer over, this is a good way of doing it and not losing anything. And just in case you're wondering, the entire thing from this is a Roswell one I got off Newegg for. I think I get it on sale for like twelve dollars. So it's been a while since I, I bought it, but yeah, it's not expensive at all. You can pick it up at most electronic stores or Newegg, and I don't think you're going to be spending more than twenty dollars. And if you do, look elsewhere. Oh. Have a good day.